Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of Website Nightmares, episode 6. We're looking at Rochdale Web Design. Uh oh, I'm going after other web designers. And why would I do that? Because I want to protect you. I want to protect you from the horrifically bad web designers that are out there. And all you have to do is take one look at this mess. It's colorful. I'll give them that. I kind of like that background. But you know what? Everything else sucks. Sorry, Mr. Rochdale, or whoever you are. Um, stuff up here. Why? Why? Get rid of it. Pull this content up. Okay, this stuff here, all the way to the top. You need all the way to the top, so it's just like the other pages on the inside. Okay? Get a little animation here in some of these websites I would not be proud to show. So you need to fix your animation there. Let's go down. Okay, we've got artwork and uh, stuff that looks very 80s. Um, he probably hasn't touched the site since 1989 or 1990. Um, and he's offering, if you notice, cheap. Okay, these are pounds. In case you don't know, this is a symbol for pound, not dollars. Which means it's going to be $110, $112. This is going to be $320, $325. Um, <clears throat> and this is, you know, $100 for one page. My goodness, and bespoke design. I love that word bespoke, but nobody knows what it means except for English people. So there you go. Uh, and then he has get to the top of Google with search engine optimization, spelled the English way, and get to page one in Google, Yahoo and MSN for your key terms. He doesn't say how many key terms for $10 a week for how many weeks. Does this mean that I can pay him 10 pounds, $11, $12, and get to number one on Google for my key term, web designer Portland? If he can do that in one week, I'm going to hire him. But you know what? He can't. How do I know that? Because he has text in pictures. How can Google do anything with these terms? This is simple, people. Text does not belong in pictures. Pictures belong in pictures. Okay, that's it. Done. I never want to see text in pictures again from any of you. Um, the other thing I've noticed is that as you hover over this, I'm not getting a tool tip. So if he's doing um, optimization, he's not including an alt tag. An ALT tag, alt, is really meant for um, software for people who are visually impaired so that when you hover over an image, then that the software visually impaired people use to cruise the web uh, will read what the alt text is and tell you what that image is. So if this is an image of a boy and his dog, you hover over it, you should see a tooltip that says a boy and his dog, and the software for visually impaired will say, will say something to the effect of, this is a picture of a boy and his dog. However, from an optimization standpoint, um, we include our key terms in there. So this image should say something along the lines of search engine optimization services or search engine optimization Rochdale in that um, alt tag tooltip. And he doesn't. So he knows nothing about optimization. I can tell you that. He knows nothing about design, but we'll go there. The other thing um, of interest is uh, these very weird boldings. Um, now... There is a tactic of search engine optimization that Google will pay attention to things that are bolded. Um, but, um, you know, from a design perspective, it's a nuisance. Okay, don't do it. Um, we promise first class service and attention to detail inquire today. Okay, um, so grammar, dude, you're from England, you should know English. Um, you know, here's his phone number, um, inquire today on or at. It should be at, but that's okay. And then he's got a comma and a capital E. You don't have a capital after a comma. I'm sorry, these are basic things. In, in, look at this. This is a sentence. Well, some actually it's an incomplete sentence. Um, and he's using it for optimization purposes because he really wants purposes because he wants to get for web design Rochdale um, number one on Google. He probably is. We'll check maybe later. Um, but notice it's cap, 
you know, every word is capped. Well, that's not even good English and there's no period. It's an it's incomplete sentence with improper... Anyway, bad news. If you see basics like this, this is not a web designer you want to have. You know, yeah, you've got one font here and another font there, and then a different font there, and a different font here, and a different font there, different font there. How many times they I got to tell everybody, pick a font, one font, okay? All right, handsome young man in a suit, another guy in a suit, talking about Business Academy. Uh, for you to receive a free website, um, where was this thing about free websites? I really want to know how to get a free website. Wonder, 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 wonder. Okay. Uh, then he's got a website Rochdale. He's got a bunch of key terms crammed in here. This is called uh, content spamming or keyword spamming and content. Um, and uh, at Rochdale Web Design with a capital W and no period. So is this a sentence or not a sentence, Mr. Rochdale Web Design? I don't know. I would like to have proper English on my website and hopefully you do too. And let's go down here. There's useful Rochdale links. Who cares? I know you're trying to do it for optimization, but these people are going to have to link back to you anyway for you to get anything from it. And then you've got this stuff down here, which, oh, my Lord in heaven. Okay, you just saw something you should never see, so I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Here's hotels in Rochdale and hosting sign up. Uh, if this is important content to your visitor, why isn't it up here? If these are important links, why are they down at the bottom? Let's do something with them. Then you've got a... a um, uh, some links here, a links page, which I'm not even going to go into because uh, I'm already uh, getting a little long in the tooth. But I want to show you something that is so important um, that if you ever see it, you need to fire the person who's done it. Okay, if you ever see this, I'm going to highlight here and look at that. This is what is called black hat SEO. It is the worst thing you can do as a search engine optimization person to a client's website. Okay? He has crammed these terms and put them on black on a black background so you won't see them, but the search engines do. And they see this whole list. Now, little does he know that Google actually checks the background color and compares it to the text color. Okay, now his background is an image and hopefully he doesn't have his background color which is behind the image set to black because that's going to really flag it. And that may be why he's he's not been shut down or hidden by Google, who knows. Uh, but if you ever see something like this, this is bad, 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 really bad, illegal, kind of bad. Okay. Um, and then let's go here. He's got a RochdaleWebDesign.com, da, 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 um, and, uh, you know, it's not a link. Why? He sh if he knows optimization, that should be a link. And he's got this copyright A, so he's got this little A thing here going on, so a bad design there. He's got it limited, which is supposed to have a period because those are the rules, and he doesn't have a period after this one. Why is it not the same? Because he does not pay attention to detail. Let's take a look at this here. He's got a little frame. You can kind of see it here. It's a little frame, but... Um, he has this text which is running right on top of the frame so he has no margin on the inside to put it in there properly. Um, really folks, this is just all about bad design. Um, I don't really need to go much further because we are done. This guy's done. Turn me off the minute I found this black hat SEO. This is bad stuff. Bad stuff people. So he thinks he's an optimizer. He thinks he's a web designer and he is neither. Okay? Avoid this guy at all costs. This is a website nightmare.